As your elected leader, I know that I must never stop listening to the people of this great nation. Especially when they say anything using email or telephones. Please rest assured that my internal database of everything you have ever said or done on the internet, will not be used against ordinary citizens. Except of course for those of you who have suspicious connections with my political opponents, such as voting for them in the previous election. You will soon receive correctional assistance from an IRS death squad. Thank you. Hello, and welcome back to Tomorrow Day, where I give you a quick glimpse of what I believe the future might hold. Today's installment is extremely relevant, since you're most likely watching this on a television. Well, take a look at this. I give you the flat screen television, or the flat television with a double T. These things will be huge, up to 38 inches, maybe. <laughs> uh, it's also incredibly thin, as thin as a, a fine sliced cheese. Hey, there's an idea right there. Incredibly thin slices of cheese, each encased in its own transparent plastic sleeve. Uh, but how to keep costs down? Perhaps we could develop our own process, uh, a low-cost cheese substitute diluted with edible oil or something. Note to self, there's a fortune to be made in pre-sliced cheddar. If I can just figure out the best way to cut the cheese. Anyway, that's the future. Totally wacky, totally unpredictable, processed cheese and wafer-thin television sets. The picture quality of these televisions will be impeccable, of course, with sound that fully envelops you, coming out of as many as three or possibly four speakers. I know it sounds like I'm all hopped up on angel dust, but please, if you just open your mind. Excuse me, Paul. I have a question about the Cheese Slice TV. Oh, hello, Ed. Everyone, please say hello to my new co-host, Mr. Ed-501C. Uh, do you pronounce the dash? No? It's a talking robocall machine that thinks it's human, or as I like to say, the politician of the future. Thank you, Paul. But I am just a simple device who calls thousands of people every day with information vital to our democracy. Did you know that Senator Gary Hart is a dirty slut? Hey there, show some respect, Ed. Did you have a question about the flat television? Yes, Paul. What is that strange glowing eyeball device on top of the monitor? Oh, that, that, that's nothing. It says just... neurocalibrator right below it. It's a device that electronically stimulates your central nervous system, bathing the user in waves of pleasure. It may sound outlandish to you. It sounds like a typical male human pornographic fantasy. I, what? Ladies and small children, I apologize for that. Leave the room if you must, Ed. Maybe that's the way they speak back at the Radio Shack. But here on my show, you're gonna speak to humans with a little more respect. I simply have a difficult time believing in the concept of a pleasure beam. You see, this is just the kind of talk we cannot be having on this show. The people of the future are watching this, and they're gonna laugh out loud when they hear you say things like, I don't believe in pleasure beams. The people of the future will probably have better things to do than watch repeats of this show. Now that does it, you overgrown, soulless little Walkman. You may be a talking robot, but that doesn't make you an expert on the future. Do you have any purpose, Ed, other than to just sit there and irritate me? Can you open a can? Can you, can you change the channel? Uh, I just, I, what is that? What am I smelling? I'm smelling something burning. What is that? That thing is smoking. That thing, what is that? Uh, one show, can we get through one show without 